Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Sunday morning mountain weather update. A couple of live cameras. First up to Alta, as expected, snow has is moving through. We're picked up uh, about three, four, five inches of snow already, and we could still add another inch, uh, maybe even a couple of inches to this. So snow falling in Utah now. Eventually, we'll move into Colorado by this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow. And you can see the view here in Colorado up on the Congo Divide, Loveland Ski Area. Beautiful morning, colorful sunrise, but just waiting on the snow, and we definitely need the snow um, here in Colorado. Here's the radar out of the uh, the west, the big view, and you can see the blue over uh, Salt Lake and the Wasatch. We'll zoom in on that in a second. Some snow moving through parts of Wyoming and also Montana, and some precip up there into parts of Washington and Oregon. So out of Utah, you can see the snow moving through the Wasatch. So still not quite done yet. Could still pick, like, like I said, maybe another uh, couple of inches of accumulation there across uh, Alta and Snowbird, Solitude, Brighton in particular. Uh, let me give you the lay of the land here on the water vapor. So again, on this, when you see the oranges and reds, it's the drier air aloft. What we're looking for is the whites and the blues. And here is our storm system spinning up here, dragging a front down through Wyoming and Utah and eventually moving into Colorado. There's your storm system in the Pacific Northwest. Now, Basically, what's going to happen is that there is a west to east conveyor belt that's going to set up across this area. And as this storm rolls in, it's going to help to gather that and focus it and lift the air into parts of Nevada, Utah, and Colorado in particular, um, from California all the way into Utah and Colorado. And those areas are going to see heavy snowfall. So what's happening now is just appetizer snow. The main event comes in uh, 25, 26, 27. Uh, for a lot of Utah and Colorado. So that's what's coming. Let me just show you my bullet points here. So storm system today, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, that's the small one with uh, light to moderate accumulation. Storm system 25, 26, 27, that's the bigger storm system for California, Utah, Colorado with potentially feet of accumulation. We'll look at that coming up. And that storm may turn into a large Thanksgiving Black Friday storm system for the Northeast at a lot of the ski areas. And I've got some pretty big totals for um, the Northeast, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, New York State. Um, so we'll look at all that coming up. Here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior, BC. So for example, in the Wasatch, there's your light snow, light to moderate accumulations today. And then the big stuff comes in late 25 into 26, early 27. In Colorado, this front comes through this afternoon, tonight, and into tomorrow with light to moderate accumulations. Then the bigger storm system on 26-27. It's, it's that storm system that's going to bring the heaviest accumulations to Utah and also Colorado. In fact, take a look at the time height forecast for snow mass. Um, snow mass, Aspen, buttermilk, and the highlands. So this is humidity forecast next 72 to 80 hours. You can see the timeline at the bottom. This is a slice through all the vertical layers of the atmosphere. The timeline, you read it from right to left. So it's just the opposite of what you would normally expect. But you can see the little area of green right there. That's the minor. It's the appetizer snow that's going to come through this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning. Then the wall of moisture. I mean, you can see the difference between this tiny front and the big storm system that's coming in um, on 26 and 27. Um, late 25 and 26 and 27 in Colorado and it is you've got lift through all the layers of the atmosphere it's what you would really want to see from a big storm system and that's why I think we're going to see feet of accumulation in fact here's snow mass here's the uh, the forecast mediagram for snow mass a little bit of appetizer snow um, this afternoon tonight and tomorrow morning maybe three four five inches then the bigger storm comes in, and that's on the 26th and into the 27th. And you can see, by the time we get into early 27, we're already at two feet. Um, and, and that's a combination of the little storm and the big storm to that point. But we're already at two feet by that point, and we're not done. So that's a big deal. Now let's go to Loveland, since I did show the cam. Let's look at Loveland. little appetizer snow coming in this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning potentially two, three, four inches in that area. And then look at the big snow coming in with that on 26 and 27. And up at Loveland, we're working on 20 inches by the time we get into early 27. So powder days are coming to Utah, 
and also a lot on pretty much all the mountain zones of Colorado. Here's the jet stream forecast by close of business today. Um, you can see it. It's running basically from west east, starting to set up that flow. And here it is. Look at the jet streak coming in on 25 through California, aiming at Utah. And here it comes into Colorado, sets up that flow through 27, and then it's out of here. And there's a tiny little disturbance that comes out of the south, but otherwise some high-pressure ridging starts to establish itself across the, uh, the west coast through 12-3. All right, latest uh, forecast radar and satellite. So by 5.30 this afternoon, um, stop that. So by 5.30 this afternoon, you're looking at, uh, let me back that up. Here we are. You've got snow coming out of Utah, out of Wyoming, and down into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Then by the time we get into Monday morning, some leftover snow in Colorado. And here comes the next storm system, the one that's going to bring the big stuff through California, Nevada, into Utah. Look at the line here. Look at the diagonal line of lift with the jet through the Wasatch, the Hyunas, and starting to take aim at Colorado. And then it's just, it's flush by the time we get into 26 in the afternoon through the Wasatch. Even the Tetons may get a little bit out of this, but it's really focused south of there into Utah and Colorado, and it's still hitting Colorado late on the 27th, and then it's gone. And then, like I said, there might be a little storm that comes out of the south right there. You can kind of see just a tiny bit of precip, and then that leaves. And then it's just kind of a waiting game as high pressure settles in across a lot of the west and the west coast. You can see that right through 12-3. All right, my latest snow forecast, pretty much all of today through tomorrow. Again, a little bit of leftover snow in the Wasatch. You've already picked up three, four, five inches, so you might still have another one, two, maybe an outside three amount. In Colorado, your snow is yet to come, and looking at anywhere from two to five inches, there might be an outside seven-inch amount over some of the very highest peaks, but again, that's appetizer snow. In California, potentially 10 there over Mammoth, a foot over Shasta and some decent numbers in the Pacific Northwest and interior BC. But here is the bigger period. This is 26 through 12-3. Most of the snow you see there in Utah and Colorado comes late on 25, 26, into 27. And looking for one to two feet across the Wasatch. In Colorado, generally one to two feet for all mountain zones with localized three-foot amounts. That is not out of the question. And you're on that northern periphery in the Tetons, five, six, seven, eight inches, not out of the question. And still a pretty good flow early on over parts of Mammoth when, when you could see almost two feet of uh, snow accumulation as that flow establishes itself early on and then moves into Utah and Colorado. Pretty light accumulation pretty much everywhere else across the board. Um, so there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this Sunday morning mountain weather update. Appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great day.